How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Trailmakers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey, that's new. Okay, we, we have a new bridge over here, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm assuming a whole new speed circuit as well. So it's been a while, obviously, since I last played, and I decided to check the updates today. And holy macaroni! Yeah, that hasn't been said since the 90s, so well, welcome back, holy macaroni. Uh, anyways, uh, aquatic vehicles are now part of the game. Real aquatic vehicles, so I downloaded a couple of them uh, just to kind of test it out. I haven't looked at the blocks or anything at all. Oh my god, it's been a while since I last played. I don't even know how to get to the creations I downloaded. But yeah, I kind of wanted to build a boat today and get some inspiration from, uh, of course, other people's boats. So we have uh, this guy here. This is looking like a really impressive boat. It's actually the most popular creation on the workshop as it currently sits. So obviously that's a good place to start. Let's check this thing out and... Oh, they added it! Yes! I told these guys to add the controls. I don't know if it was because of me, but I did mention to them that they should add uh, controls for the creations on the screen. And holy crap, they're there. So I don't know if that was a me thing or if they just decided to do it. Uh, I really appreciate that, of course, though. Okay, so I'm having... Oh, there we go. That's the engine power. So, uh, yes, we got just a generic... Whoa, boat right now. And... Uh... <laughs> This is why I'm not a sailor. And now we have the rare Australian boat. Uh, as you can see, it's totally normal now, and it's actually still somehow working. So, at least we can kind of see how this is working now. So we have, obviously, a lot of jets at the back of this thing, and I'm assuming that's the new underwater engine. It's a little top-heavy, though, I, I, I will say that. Or I guess, now, bottom-heavy. All right, well, if the other one was top-heavy, I think we're getting a little worse now, to be totally honest. But uh, we got a sailboat! How cool is that? It's got the little... I don't know what the bottom thing is called. Is that... No, the back's a rudder. I, I don't know what the middle thing is. Let, let me know in the comments below if you know what that thing is. But it's got one of those things, so that's pretty cool. Holy crap, don't don't break the boat. Let's just try and get on it here. I don't want to get eaten by piranhas. Ah, there we go. So how does... Oh, it doesn't actually get powered by wind. Okay, so it's, it's, it's almost like cheating. But uh, does this one flip? That's what I want to know. No, this is way better. I'm assuming because of the buoyancy... Uh, things on the side, it looks like that's kind of affecting it. So yeah, you're not using the wind to power this thing, unfortunately. I, I don't know, is there actually, no, I don't think there's wind in trail makers yet. That's what they need to add next though, because obviously we have water physics now. Uh, we need wind and wave physics, guys. Uh, get on it, you know? But no, this is absolutely awesome. I didn't expect them to add uh, boats so quickly into the update, so props to them for doing that. This thing is uh, obviously really, really cool. Now, can we actually flip it? It doesn't look like... This is very stable. This is impressive. So yeah, nothing too crazy, though. It is simply a sailboat. Now, what I think I'm going to build today, because obviously we're going to build something as well, is a speedboat. I want to see how fast we can go on the water, and uh, yeah, it should be fun to try that. So we're just going to kind of beach this thing. We got one more to try before we get to building. Uh, I think the next one's going to be really cool. Oh my god, what did I just do? And the final one is a yellow submarine. Uh, is it a submarine? I, I don't know. I, to be honest, I just quickly downloaded these two guys because I wanted to check out a bunch of boats. I thought it was a submarine. It looks like it's just a little boat, though. Oh, hey, I like it. I like it a lot. Very, very simple, but uh, it does the trick, and it does it very, very well. So... I don't know all the new blocks. Obviously, we have some crazy buoyancy blocks, though, and a new engine at the bottom. So, with that in mind, I think it's going to be pretty easy to actually make a drag racer on the water, essentially. Hell, maybe I can figure out how to make a submarine and try that as well. But let's start off with just a speedboat, and we'll see where we go from there. I want to see how fast we can get on the water, uh, and I'm going to go pretty aggressive at it. So, yeah, time to build something, and I... I'm going into this with uh, no real plan, so let's see what happens. All right, so I'm seeing we got some pontoons. It looks like there's underwater attachments on this one, so we'll see how buoyant it is. I'm going to start with ordinary blocks, so let's, uh, what do we want to do here? 4 by 8 Yeah, let's do some 4 by 8s and we're going to have a nice long boy today because obviously it's a drag racer. We need lots of space for engines, and basically, from what I'm thinking, we're just going to do a penis craft. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, but it's going to kind of look like a penis because I think that should work very, very well. Can we actually... Oh, no, we can't side shot that. That's, that's no fun. All right, let's just put that there like that, there like that, there like that. Delete that bad boy. Delete that bad boy. And, uh, yeah, 
we'll start with this. All right, now time for the undercarriage. Now, is this thing... Okay, this is the wrong way, but uh, this will actually work perfectly. So, my logic is we're going to have a crazy amount of engines on this thing, but I kind of want to add some curves as well. You know, this boat should look nice as well. So, I think the engines are two pixels wide. So, if we can put these down there and then put engines in between them, we should be golden. So, there we go. Uh, go all the way down this, and we'll just kind of move outwards here. And this should look pretty good uh, once we start adding more to it, of course. All right, there we go. So we got some curves on this bad boy. Now let's, uh, of course, put a seat on this. Kind of got to keep this in the middle. We got to keep weight distribution in thought. Uh, I'm hoping this buoyancy isn't too bad. I'm, I'm thinking this is obviously going to be very back-heavy right now. Uh, so we probably want to add more buoyancy to the back, but... Uh, only way we know is by actually trying this out. So let's actually throw some engines on this real quick and just see what happens, basically. Uh, of course, we're going to have to add some buoyancy as well. So, new engines, new engines, new engines. This is it right here, the underwater. That's all it says, so I'm assuming that's it. And bam, perfect, fits perfectly in there. Now, can we put these right behind each other? I know with other engines you can't do that, so probably not. With Oh, I didn't put steering on it. Okay, actually, I can probably do side steering with other engines. We'll see what happens here. We're going to go all the way to the back of the boat. And let's just make sure these things work. So we're going to hit B here. There we go. Let it load in a little bit. And... All right. They're definitely working, so that's good. It looks like maybe the only the back one is, though. It's hard to see. To see. All right, let's see how she floats, as I assume. Wait, no. Well, I guess, okay, so now we gotta go back to the drawing board because I'm gonna need buoyancy everywhere, clearly. Um, I should have assumed that, but I was wondering if the whole craft was considered buoyant if you use those items or if it was just based on the block. So, obviously, it's just based on the block. Oh, God, how do I get this back? Let's actually try and see. Oh, okay, I think the engines are indeed working. That's pretty fast for one engine. Still hard to tell without it floating, so we have to figure out what I want to do now for the buoyancy. All right, so for a temporary solution, I want to still kind of cover up the side so you don't see all the stuff. But uh, we're just going to have to get rid of this line, and uh, we'll see what happens when we use the small guys. I already added them to this side. Uh, but yeah, there's two different options, which is pretty damn cool. One's a really small guy, the other one's a rather large one. So uh, where the hell are they again? All right, there they are in frame. So there we go. We have another little guy here. And I cannot say enough how amazing this game is for building. I'm not a huge fan of building and building games. I know that's weird because there's so many on my channel, but it's usually very clunky. And uh, one thing Trailmakers does very, very well is make building absolutely enjoyable. So uh, I do have to give them props for that. So I think that should work because I don't think we're going to need that much buoyancy. As long as we're over buoyant, that's a good thing. That means I don't got to deal with, uh, you know, being very careful with this. Drag it and drop it. Let's see what happens this time. Come on. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you can see definitely the back is way more buoyant than the front, but it's having no problem staying upwards as well. So, that's obviously really good. And I mean, we'll see how fast we can go here. It's going to be hard to tell without steering, obviously, but it looks like it's pretty decent. We can definitely make it better, though, that's for sure. And looking at the configuration of the new engines, you can't actually increase their speed. I was hoping you could. Now now I'm going to have to get pretty crafty to make this thing any faster. Uh, we definitely have other methods of propulsion. I don't know if we can over-propul, though, and actually make the front go forward or something. Because obviously I'm going to have to add some uh, air-based propulsion to the top. We'll see what we got to do. For right now, I just want to get a boat that's working and I can actually steer it and whatnot. So I just realized I'm not going to be able to reverse in this thing. Maybe I should add a reverse gear. I don't think we need reverse, though. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out later. But I have these two open spots here because I'm going to add some engines that can hopefully rotate. That's the plan anyways. We'll see if we can actually do that. So first of all, we're going to throw a rotating servo on this and we're going to put it right back there. We'll do two of those, obviously, because we're going to have two on each side. 
Uh, hopefully those don't hit the block. You know what? Just to be safe, I want to use as much space in here as possible, but I want these to rotate and not bang into things either. So I think that should be good. I think you guys understand what's going on. This thing probably won't be very good at steering, but if it's really, really bad, we can also go back to the drawing board and figure out where to go from here. So here we go. I mean, it's, it's nothing crazy, but yeah, basically just add these to steering servos, and we should at least have some turning in the water. And I think we can probably fit another two on there. So let's do that. All right, and let's give her some gas, and ooh, that's working way better than I thought it would. Check out that, and I can rotate these as far sideways as I want, so we can actually do really tight turns. This is actually very, very fast as well. I'm impressed, man. Uh, I, I expected a lot of trial and error today, but I'm actually totally fine with that. We are banging on the side a little bit, but as long as I don't go too crazy with the steering, we should be fine. This is definitely not that fast, though. We're going... Let's go straight here and see how fast we can get it going. Uh, looks to be about 70, 60. You know, you get the idea. So we, we, we have to go faster than that. That is just not fast enough. So now that I know that this boat will work, I'm excited. We can get down to actually doing some fine-tuning now and figuring out where we want to go from here. Now, I'm actually thinking I might rotate these sideways and put some more jets in there for better steering. We'll see how I feel in a little bit, though. What I want to try is see what happens when we add some jets on this thing as well. Is it going to be too much propulsion up the top so it dives down in the water? I think it might actually will, and that's my biggest worry. So let's get, uh, what's the good jets here? The, no, not the raw. The dragon jet? No, actually, the raw is the best one. I thought the raw was the bad one, but that's the, uh, no, it is. It's just very, very big. I mean, I guess we could do a crap load of dragon engines. Thing being, the dragon engines are only 30 kgs, where the raw jet engines are 106, and these take about half the space of the dragon engines. So I, I have a, I have, I have to think about how I want to do this. We could also do propellers, uh, but I don't think propellers add that much propulsion. Obviously, jet engines are where it's at. The benefit of the raw engines is you can stack them. So I think we're gonna have a healthy mix here. Let's just see what happens when we use raw engines, though. We're gonna do a whole plethora of these. Actually, let's just go all the way across the back. That way it looks really badass from the back. And uh, we'll see if it can handle this. Now that's a lot of weight. A lot of weight in the back. Um, and that might be too much weight. I'm thinking that's definitely too much weight. Let's see how it, how it reacts. We're gonna have to do a lot of testing in terms of buoyancy because I, I don't know how much weight is too much weight. So let's see what happens here. I'm thinking it's gonna be too heavy in the back though. And my assumption is definitely correct. I gotta get kind of crafty here if I want to do this right. I don't think there's gonna be any easy way to add more buoyancy to it, and I don't want to add, like, layers upon layers of buoyancy either because it's gonna look awful. So let's just drop these engines down a bit. Let's see if it can hold up, like, three or four engines. We'll do four in the middle. Actually, we'll do three in the middle because four, there is technically not a mid Well, there is an exact middle, not an even middle. So... Oh, man. Okay, clearly I, I'm kind of bummed now because I was going to add a crap load of jet, jet engines on this, and that's why I made it so big. Now it just looks funny. But that's fine because I can make this thing look pretty damn cool as well, I think. But the, the size of it might be my downside because this is a heavy craft as well. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not good. Excuse me? Why are you not attached? All right, that should be everything, I think. So we're back to normal. Let's grab this again, and I guess we'll save it, because it likes to break itself, and uh, it's kind of important to constantly save in this game. Let's rotate it so we're actually driving outwards, too. And please tell me that's not too many engines. That's still, like, 400 pounds or kgs, and yes, that's... Okay, so clearly the engines are going to really affect this, and that's, that's an issue, man, because... Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do then in terms of just getting a little bit more speed. I mean, I would have been happy if it went like 150. Unfortunately, we're only going like 70 right now. All right, so we're uh, downsizing a little bit here. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's just the side things uh, warning me that uh, they're not working. So how, am I, how do I wanna do this? Actually, I think we got a one by eight or a one by four in here. Yeah, one by four, perfect. So we can just add that so we can add our sides on too. I'm trying to drop some weight because uh, clearly we're not going to need that space now. So, uh, yeah, and it should look better as well now that we got this. So let's actually see if we can do something here. There's a lot of cool tools when it comes to building, so I can highlight all these blocks and move them all at the same time. Look at that. Bam. Right in place. Love it. And there we go. That looks a hell of a lot better, too, so I'm kind of excited about that. And 
Unfortunately, let's just drop down to one. I just want to see if we can go faster with a jet engine. So, uh, yeah, we went about 70 with our old craft. Let's see what happens when we go like this. Oh, my God, I keep doing that. You have to highlight it. Uh, there's certain things you got to get used to in this game. And, well, let's actually save it because who knows what happened, what could happen uh, out here. I could definitely sink this thing quite easily. Please tell me one engine. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's it's not it's not having an easy time with it, but it actually does have an engine on it. All right, and oh, the uh, difference is crazy. You can see the weight. It's really affecting me though. It was so much easier to drive this when we didn't have that jet engine, and you can see once it goes underwater, it actually stops it. But it does increase the speed of this thing. So oh no 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 no. Okay, don't we we, we got to turn this thing around and get it, get get it back. Oh, man, we're getting some serious air here, so I'm trying to think of how to do this. I think we can get pretty crafty here and at least add a few jet engines to this, and I think I know how, which is getting rid of some of the uh, boat engines because they're great, but I feel like adding too many of them doesn't really help too much. So what we're going to do is, I think, half them. So we're just going to split this up, and every second one, we're going to delete it, and we're going to replace that with a buoyancy thing that way we actually have more buoyancy which in turn means we can hopefully add a few more engines onto this thing so there we go you can see it looks kind of funny but uh oh crap it doesn't fit no why is it oh okay never mind so now we're gonna utilize that extra buoyancy to put engines at certain places where we have lots of buoyancy right here obviously of course is great in the middle of the craft we might actually stack some over here because we might have the weight to do so. Now, I'm thinking I might put some in the front too. This might get a little risky though. So we'll see what happens here. We'll give it a shot and see if it can handle it. So what I'm going to do is put one there and you get the idea. One on basically every uh, buoyancy thing. So that way it's nice and spread. The, the weight spread and hopefully it can deal with it. So uh, this might be way too much. I'm thinking the front ones are going to have to be taken off. We'll find out in a second, though, that's for sure. All right, please amaze me and float. This is too much. This is way too much. I knew it. I knew that would be the case, and I need to build. I need to build. I don't want to lose you. Okay, so that was way too much all across the boat. So let's drop this one. I might just do one in the front. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Control-Z. Uh-oh. Control-Z is not working. Uh, did I save it recently? Nope. <laughs> oh, please float. Please. Yes. Okay. Still amazingly heavy in the back. That dragon engine is pretty damn serious. You can see I'm actually noticing it's kind of breaking a little bit. Anyways, uh, did a little bit to this. Obviously, I added way more buoyancy around the sides because I wanted that jet power, damn it. And we dropped down to dragon engines. Uh, they're about half the weight and uh, they're pretty good. So we'll see what happens here. When we give her a shot now. Man, it's still having a hard time. I think I think we're going to have to lift up the back a bit. Because I feel like the front is hitting the water and affecting it. Gotta say, though, all engines are staying on. I mean, maybe there's just a limit to how fast you can go on the water. I don't know. I haven't really looked at the Steam Workshop to see if there's any boats out there that are actually focused on speed. This one... I'm actually impressed because it's extremely stable, and I gotta say, it looks really, really cool. Obviously, when we add more detail to it. So, I think I'm pretty content with this in terms of propulsion. Uh, I'm just gonna check a few things, see if I can maybe add a little bit more to this, but I'm very happy with the stability. I had no problems driving that at all. All right, so quickly scouring the uh, Steam Workshop, I did find one which, what looks to be speed-focused boat. Uh... Okay, I'm going to assume it's meant to do that. And that actually, ooh, yeah, you can see it slowly comes down. So basically, the front is so buoyant, it's constantly going to stay up. That's actually really smart. Now, what I'm noticing, though, is there, oh, there is uh, some uh, engines on this thing. So this is actually pretty impressive. We got uh, dragon engines on this. Let's see, as compared to mine, ooh, this one's actually, it's got, it's got a little bit of a wobble. Okay, I'm more impressed with mine now. This is the most, the highest rated speedboat that I could find. 
Uh, and as you can see, it's, uh, well, I wouldn't really call it the speedboat. It looked fast. That's, that's kind of what I downloaded. Now, obviously, this one looks really, really freaking cool, but, uh, I think my speedboat can keep up with the best of them. So, uh, yeah, let's continue building this thing and see where we can go. I do like the amount of buoyancy on this one, though, in the front. I might add some more buoyancy to mine just to keep that lip up so we don't, uh, add any drag to the boat because... If you've ever watched speedboats before, they plane on top of the water. None of the boat actually hits the water, that way there's no drag. And that's kind of how you want to design a boat if you do want to go really, really fast, because water has a lot of drag. That's kind of how it works. All right, so I added a few more, actually a couple more Dragon's engines to be more specific, just to add just a little bit more to it. If we can get the big 100, I would be amazed. Now, uh, what I want to do is, I'm thinking I'm going to, do I want to do medium? And then if we rotate this, we might actually be able to add one to the front. And that's kind of important to me to keep the front up as high as possible. So I might even add two of these things. Can we connect? Oh, of course, there's no middle connection points, only side connection points. So uh, I can't lower it all the way down to the bottom. That being said, I wonder what happens if we let one of these little guys drag into the water. Because, I, I, again, I want to keep this as high as possible. So let's see what happens with that. And then we can easily hide it as well. And uh, it won't look so dumb. So, yeah, one more quick test. I just want to make sure the weight I added didn't affect it too much. And I have to remember when I'm building this thing, too, we're going to be adding more weight to it. And that's my big worry. So I'm going to overbuild this. And I'm going to screw up everything. Because it's great right now. But uh, that can change in seconds if I'm not too careful. All right. No idea if it's floating or not. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And it's doing what I wanted and keeping the front up, as you can see. So, I think this is good, man. I think this is real good. We're definitely not going to hit the 100, I don't think. It's just, it's too fast. Ooh, I am going a bit to the side. I think that's because my jets went off for a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, even, even 90, that's pretty damn impressive. time for its maiden voyage ladies and gentlemen i'm hoping this isn't too heavy i was testing as i was building and uh, i did have to lighten it quite a bit i couldn't go crazy on the designs i'm not too happy with how it looks but uh it looks better than what it was at least and i did finally paint a design too guys look at it. i'm gonna call it the bumblebee uh so yeah just a yellow and black design here let's see what happens when we drop it in the water that's a good sign the front uh, definitely totally staying up, but, uh, the back part's the hard part, so if we can get in here. There we go, and, oh, wow. Actually, I'm impressed. You can see definitely some weight in the back there. We might want to increase that a little bit, but let's take this thing for its maiden voyage and see what a speedboat is like in Trail Maker. So, did the weight slow it down at all? No, it's still going about 80. We can't get it to the big 90, though. I wonder... If we can maybe improve it somehow to actually do it. I like it, though. It's like my, my whole mindset was to build a drag racer on the water. And that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm happy with that. The steering, it does feel a little finicky. But I'm actually impressed. Like, I'm going full throttle. All the engines are staying on. And uh, it's definitely not flipping, as you can see. So, yeah. Gotta say, I'm pretty damn happy with my boat here. Now, I think what would be cool is if we can maybe build on this design, add some wings that can maybe retract outwards, and turn it into a plane as well. 
that would be another major goal of mine that maybe we'll build on in the next episode. For right now, though, I'm pretty happy with just a boat here. So I'm actually going around the map. I've never been around the whole uh, speed map or the race map just to see if there's anything over here. I mean, we may as well. We have an awesome boat to try. I haven't flipped it yet or anything amazingly. Let's see how what happens when we actually go on land here. Let's see if we can coast across this or what happens. It probably isn't even... Oh, actually, maybe because of the jet engines, we might actually be able to utilize this thing on ground as well. You can see it definitely doesn't have an issue staying on the ground. Now, I wonder if we can actually turn, though, if there's too much drag. You know what? Let's try it. Let's go. Let's give this thing a second here. I've been bouncing a little bit too much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You don't want to go too crazy with turning, uh, especially with those jets on. But let's see if we can actually turn while this thing is on no unfortunately because it's a water-based engine uh yeah you can't turn it when it's on obviously flat ground but amazingly uh it can actually deal with the drag which is something i didn't expect all right guys but i think that's a good time to end off this episode of trail makers today i just wanted to check out the new update and uh check out these new awesome blocks so yeah it's exciting now we have some boats in Trail makers. I hope they add buoyancy to the other blocks, though, because I would love to build a hull that's obviously underwater and build, like, an actual ship. Right now, all we have is the buoyancy blocks. I'm thinking maybe the tires may be buoyant. Again, if you remember in the alpha, they were uh, buoyant as well. They turned that off, but they might have turned it back on now, and you might be able to be able to do some fun things with that. But my goal is done today. I built myself a pretty damn stable speedboat, and, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Now, if you guys want to download this for yourself, I will upload it to the Steam Workshop. It will be called DG Boat. Uh, it will also be in the link in the description of this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys have any suggestions on what I want to, what uh, what you guys want to see me do with this thing, or what to do in Trail Makers, let me know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.